Hey everyone and welcome back to Style by McKenz. Today I am doing another swimwear review slash try on haul for you guys. I have done quite a few over the last couple of months and you guys seem to really really enjoy them. In the past I have shared swimsuits from Shein, Zaffel, AMC Clubwear, Dakotu, and um, just some other ones here and there. But today I am collaborating with AMC Clubwear again and I am super, super excited. I have six bathing suits to share with you, five bikinis and one one piece. I am very excited because if you watched my last um, AMC Clubwear review, which I will leave in the description below, you would know that I had a great success with all of the suits. I really liked all four of the ones that I tried out and was pleasantly surprised. So today I have a couple of styles that I'm really excited to share with you and today will be a try on haul. The last video that I did with them was not a try on haul. I actually just shared pictures of it over on my blog, but um, I have not been to the beach to wear these ones in the water yet. So try on haul it is. Without further ado, let's hop right in. I'm going to go ahead and get started with the one piece first. And the one that I picked out looks like this. It is just a bright pink with like flamingos on it and the flamingos are wearing helmets and like little goggles and I just thought this was so cute um when Madison and I went to the beach for beach week we had like a little pink flamingo float and this just reminded me of it I thought it was super cute I love just a one piece like this that's super super wearable what I love about this is that it's not super low it's just like a classic scoop neck you don't get like a super terrible tan line by any means um it's not super booby so that you're able to wear this one piece if you're being active if you're diving under waves um, riding the jet ski, things like that. Um, this bathing suit's perfect for. This one is a lot lower than the one piece that I got from them last time, but I really like the scoop. It just scoops pretty, pretty low, you'll see in the try-on. Um, and it is a little bit higher cut in the back. This one's a little bit cheekier than some of the other one pieces that I've gotten from them, but still more on the full coverage side. I really like this. It is, um, white padding in the front. Or in the suit, I know that I mentioned in one of my latest hauls that I like the black pads best, but all the ones today have white. This one's super nice though, not see-through, and really cute for under $20. The next suit that I got is a snakeskin one, and this has my least favorite kind of clasp on it. It is like one of these silver clasps that looks like this and they're kind of like um not cheap but like they do kind of worry me a little bit when they're this clasp however they are very comfortable unlike some other clasps which is like why I'm okay with them but just note that this is not the kind where you like you know shove it in and you have like three options it's just one classic little silver hook but anyways this is a bandeau style however the straps are not removable so you do have straps in this one I prefer straps on a bandeau style because I like a little strap as a tan line because I just like people to know that you know I was pale once and now I'm super tan um, but and I think that it just helps to keep the suit up I think it's more convenient to wear um, a top with straps however I do have a strapless option to share with you guys today as well this has adjustable straps too which is really awesome I know some suits don't have that I really like this one for that reason again you can remove the pads in this one I would just leave them in um, on this one but you know if you prefer to take them out you can go ahead and do that that top fit perfectly I got everything every swimsuit that I got I got in a size small I wear a size 34 B um, in my chest and I typically wear a size double zero or two I have a 25 inch waist for those people wondering and I do make sure to check the size charts because some of the size small bottoms are meant for a 27 inch waist and they always are so bunchy and like big on the butt so I made sure to get ones that, that um would fit me. Bottoms to that suit look like this. They are a super, super high-waisted cut. These are the most high-waisted of any bottoms that I own. They come well above my belly button. My belly button is like probably right here when they're on. You'll see. And they're super high cut. So a lot of your side hip is exposed, showing off. Like if you have a low-waisted tan line, you'll be able to see it once you're wearing this. Um, as you can tell, like there's not much more fabric on the butt as there is in the front. So this definitely is a little bit of a cheekier suit because it is so high cut on the hips. But again, super flattering. If you're not a huge fan of your midriff, a suit like this is awesome because it's covering all of that up.
This next suit is probably the weirdest sized one of any of the ones that I got and we'll talk a little bit why I still love it. It happened to fit me perfectly, but not everyone's body is the same shape as mine. So I do want to touch on that. The top looks like this. It is a navy and white star print bandeau and it's literally just a piece of fabric. Like there's no, there's like a white lining on the other side, but that's like it. There's no pads. There's no room to put pads in if you wanted. Um, I found that like this was fine on me, but if you have a little bit bigger of a chest I would not recommend this suit just because this is such a small piece of fabric Like I said, my chest is not very big at all So um, it happens to like work fine on me But like this would slide right off of you pretty much if you do if you did have like a larger chest Mostly because it is just a tie in the back granted you can tie a bow You can tie a triple knot it if you want, but there is no clasp or anything like holding this up So do keep that in mind not a suit that I would probably where if I was like planning on swimming a ton in the water you know like diving around playing games playing chicken like things like that um but still a super cute option of course and I know not everyone's like that the bottoms on these are super full coverage so if you are someone that likes a high-waisted full coverage fit this is an awesome suit um it is not high cut high-waisted I know some high-waisted like like the snakeskin one are very high cut on the side this one's not it does cover a majority of your hips and these are Lower than the snake skin you'll see again in the try on that they are a little bit on the lower side However, um this bathing suit is a little bit tight up here not on me personally Like it fits me like a glove and I find that some high-waisted styles are actually too big up by my hips Just because my waist is a little bit smaller than my hips um, But this one's like perfect. So if your waist is the same size as your hips this suit is probably not for you but if your waist is tinier get this one because it will fit you really really well again a navy and white star print and i think this one comes in a couple of other colors This next suit is tied for my favorite with one of the other ones and this one actually came in a Shein bag and has a Shein tag on it. I know that a lot of these Chinese companies are from the exact same um, factory and stuff like they're made in the same place but I was like surprised when I saw that this like actually just has the Shein tag on it so it wasn't a surprise that I liked it because I do love Shein suits. So this is a super bright neon, but it's not showing up as nearly as bright on camera. It is a racerback style, so it's literally like just like a sports bra, which makes it a super comfortable fit. This is an awesome suit to do things in, um, especially if you're like a big swimmer, you know, you like to dive under waves, you like to be active at the beach, go for a suit like this. I know that not everyone loves the racerback tan line, but this is a really practical suit. The pads in this um, are a little bit like noticeable. Like once you have it on, you can kind of tell that the pads are in there. I haven't tried taking them out to see if it would be see-through without it um but like i'm fine with the pads in it i really like the top and then the bottoms look like this i again really like this style bottom and i wasn't expecting to like these as much i'm usually not a super high um hipped really cheeky bottom lover but i thought that these were super cute again they do sit a little bit higher on your hips which does make them a little bit of a cheekier style but these are super cute and I love the width of the band this is like my perfect ideal um, size strap that tan line that I like to have if that makes sense um, but yeah this one's super cute again I got this in a size small and it fits awesome if you are looking for a bigger bottom I would just skip this bathing suit entirely just because the bottom is again like I said on the cheekier side and they have other options with a more fuller coverage bottom This suit reminds me of Tommy Hilfiger for some reason and I love it. I'm going to start off with the bottoms. They are a high-waisted cut. High-waisted styles are just so flattering on and a lot of you guys have been asking for me to share high-waisted styles so I figured that I would choose a few from AMC. Just to give you guys a couple options, this is like a white ribbed material with red piping along the front and then navy on the sides. I wish that this had come for 4th of July because it would have been so stinking cute. This is double lined so it is not see-through whatsoever. I was kind of worried that it would look see-through or that like it would just be weird around this area but it was 
was not. I was actually pleasantly surprised. These bottoms do fit me perfectly, but they are um, a little bit bigger than some of the other high-waisted styles. So definitely this one is true to size. Like I would not, if you're in between sizes, go down on this one. And then the top looks like this, just like again, a bandeau straight across style, which I love this style. And then red straps. These are self-tying, which you guys know is one of my favorite features because it does allow the suit to fit pretty much any bust size. What I like about the straight across style is that on a day where I wear like a triangle style and my boobs get too much sun, then the next day I'll wear a straight across just to cover it up and I don't want to get any extra color there, you know, like I don't want to risk getting burned and then peeling. So that's what I usually do. I start off with a triangle and then if my skin gets a little tender, I switch to something like this. I do not like the padding in this one. Like you can't really tell on camera, but it is kind of see-through. Like you can see the pad through the material but I did take the pads out and if you take the pads out then you can't you like won't see um, your nipples through this so I know that's a kind of TMI but I know a lot of people wonder about that these pads were not my favorite but you can take them out and still be okay with it obviously I haven't swam in the water with it without pads in it so I'm not exactly sure but um, that's the gist on this one it really reminds me of just like I said Tommy Hilfiger suit I don't know why but I love it I saved my favorite suit for last and the, this style bikini was really popular last summer and it's like that neoprene um, kind of material, you know what I mean? These like neoprene style suits were just so big. Um, so first of all, the this quality of this suit is amazing because it is neoprene, like it is like actual neoprene guys, like super thick, very, very like high quality is like the only way I can describe it. Um, the bottoms look teeny tiny and so does the top, but it's because all of these like three layers of colors are elastic, like just literally straight elastic with then crochet holding the elastic together. So this bottom stretches out really, really big. However, if you um, are in between sizes, go up in this one because this one is on the tinier side just with the amount of fabric there is. So this is the back, really cute, and then the front looks like this. I really like this suit, guys, and you can wear that um, on your hips or you can wear it just like a normal waist, but it is cool that you can pull it up higher, like if that's more your style, or you can wear it the other way. I think that it's awesome that you can do both. The top just looks like this. Again, it looks super small, but it's definitely not. Um, I was actually surprised that it didn't have side boob when I put this on because usually in a triangle top that is a little bit smaller, that's what happens for me. But this one fit really, really well all around. Just a royal blue cup and then again, the same colored elastic that's holding the straps together. Um, you've got green and like a light lilac on these straps and then a royal blue and orange along the bottom. Um, strap. What am I trying to say? <laughs> Along the bottom. So this is what the back looks like. There are no clasps or anything to this. It's literally just like solid elastic which allows this to be so comfortable. And I just, like I said, love the neon. I also know that that bathing suit comes in a couple of different colors. I'll probably pick it up in the yellow the next time I order from them just because I was really, really impressed with that suit and I think it's super trendy for under $20. It really can't be beat. That is going to be all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much to AMC Clubber for sponsoring today's video. I will leave the links to everything down below so that you can go grab all of these suits. Every single one is under $20, so you're really getting a great deal. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.